Dynamite. A very destructive yet revolutionary innovation. Taker of many lives, maker of the future. Construction was once a very laborious task. Oftentimes, natural obstructions such as mountain ranges and boulders would make a project impossible to continue, washing away valuable days of work. This was a very unreliable process that caused great frustration and limited the ability to build more roads and railways. Eventually, this was remedied by the invention of dynamite, an explosive invented by Alfred Nobel. Alfred Nobel was born in Stockholm, Sweden, where his father, Emmanuel Nobel, was the owner of a construction company. However, when Alfred was only four, his father's company went bankrupt and Alfred moved to St. Petersburg, Russia, where his father was able to start anew. There, Nobel was able to receive a balanced education, and his dad wished for him to be in the construction industry. In 1859, Emmanuel faced a downturn in fortune again, and Alfred returned with him to Stockholm to start yet another business. Because of his father's many failures in the construction industry, Alfred wanted to find a solution to the problems. He began experimenting with nitroglycerin, attempting to find a safe method to use it as an explosive for blowing past natural obstructions. In the process, construction productivity would increase. Nitroglycerin, a key ingredient in dynamite, is an oily, poisonous, and explosive liquid. It has a density of 1.6 grams per cubic centimeter. Its chemical name is propane 123 nitrate and is composed of 15.9% carbon, 2.2% hydrogen, 18.5% nitrogen, and 63.4% oxygen. With a melting point of 13.2 degrees Celsius, it also has a boiling point of 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Originally, nitroglycerin was discovered by Italian chemist Ascanio Sobrero in 1846. Sobrero came upon nitroglycerin in his attempt to produce new medicine. He injured himself when he heated nitroglycerin in a test tube with nitric acid and sulfuric acid. As a result, the oil was separated from the acids, causing an explosion. When kept in its natural liquid state, nitroglycerin is very reactive. Alfred Nobel knew about this vital fact. Later, in 1863, he invented the Nobel Patent Detonator for detonating nitroglycerin. The Nobel Patent Detonator used a strong shock rather than the usual heat combustion to ignite explosives. Inspired by this discovery, in 1866, Nobel continued to work on the uses for nitroglycerin eventually finding out that mixing nitroglycerin with silica would change the liquid into a malleable paste, called dynamite. The advantage of dynamite over nitroglycerin in its raw form was that it could be inserted in the shape of a cylinder to drilling holes used for mining. Dynamite actually helped make mines deeper, so they could actually, uh, I guess, dig whatever they need to dig out of the mine. Coal, iron, copper were the th main three that would actually be quicker to get out of from, from the mines, which increased you know, productivity for the industrialization. Dynamite, containing the absorbent material, diatomaceous earth, made nitroglycerin much more stable as well. Nitroglycerin in the dynamite allows dynamite to be a high explosive, detonating rather than just deflagrating, or simply burning. After more time researching, he eventually found out that mercury fulminate, ignited by a fuse, could safely detonate the nitroglycerin and other components that made up the explosive. Nobel originally intended for dynamite to only be an alternative to gunpowder for large-scale construction work such as for roads and tunnel building. Dynamite also proved to be useful for hard rock mining and demolition. Miners used its explosions to create shafts that either went straight down to follow ore bodies and veins or tunnels which went somewhat horizontal to rock faces. This made it much easier to extract various ores which could then be used for construction. Buildings eventually became old and needed to be replaced. This was made possible because of dynamite's ability to demolish such buildings. New buildings could then be made from the ore for mining and this advantageous circle continued for many years, boosting industry greatly. Dynamite, dynamo from the Greek word for power. Very powerful substance that was now much safer to ship also to California for the railroad tracks well, as an explosive because the, um, the mixture would made it just less explosive, much more controllable in its, in its explosiveness. Soon people began to catch on to the usefulness of dynamite. 
It was used for such projects as the building of America's own transcontinental railroad. More recently, it was used in the boring of a five mile long hole in Cahusac Mountain, Massachusetts, to form a new train route. Seven million pounds were used in 1890 to build a new Croton Reservoir System in New York, piled with 10 million pounds for New York's subway construction project in 1900. The Panama Canal even used 61 million pounds of dynamite for its production. Ultimately, these projects were made possible because of dynamite's ability to blow past these once treacherous environmental obstacles. However, Nobel also saw dynamite's potential in the military for revolutionaries as a weapon. World War One, World War Two, the production of uh, dynamite was up. Tons of dynamite were produced for destructive purposes in war times. Uh, they were used in guns and for various kinds of detonations. For in the 1880s, the U.S. military experimented with dynamite guns, where explosives were used to fire at enemies. It's also considered the weapon of the people. Russian revolutionaries assassinated Tsar Alexander II with dynamite in 1881. The Irish Republican Army Group, Sinn Féin, even considered dynamite its best weapon against the powerful British Army. However, the concussion from gun blasts often prematurely detonated the dynamite, often harming those who used this form of weaponry. Other explosives had been developed by this time. The use of dynamite was minimized. Dynamite, being a great upside of society, also brought terrible downfalls. It became the weapon of choice for anarchists and terrorists. As a result, Safety is now a constant issue. Millions have died from suicidal bombings and other variations of dynamite explosions. It was also a savior. Dynamite was also used, surprisingly, as a fire abatement method, where it was used to destroy potentially hazardous buildings to prevent large fires from burning and using these very same buildings as more fuel. It was also used to demolish buildings that proved as liabilities to workers or potential harm to adjacent buildings. Although dynamite was later replaced by newer explosives, it ultimately paved the way for modern explosives, setting an example to continue to create more valuable innovations in history. Because of the huge production and use of dynamite, Alfred Nobel became extremely wealthy and used the wealth to found the Nobel Peace Prize. Although the real reason behind the creation of this prize is unknown, it is thought to be created by Nobel because of the guilt he felt for the many lives lost from his creation of dynamite. The Nobel Peace Prize is meant for bringing peace to the world, although the definition of peace is not clearly defined. This prize was awarded to individuals for a variety of reasons, from Kim Dae-jung in 2000 as President of South Korea, for his work for democracy and human rights in South Korea and in East Asia in general and for peace and reconciliation with North Korea in particular. To Barack Obama in 2008 as 44th President of the United States of America, for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between peoples. Overall, because of the founding of the Nobel Peace Prize, people all around the world are encouraged to promote peace and care for the welfare of others. Without dynamite, the mining and construction industries would never have developed so successfully, and warfare would never have advanced so quickly. Dynamite was without a doubt an innovation that impacted history. It brought many revolutionary changes to our world, although not all beneficial, which helped to shape the outcome of modern society. As Mark Twain once said, custom is petrification. Nothing but dynamite can dislodge it for a century. It actually worked as a catalyst to start the, the Industrial Revolution. So it actually quickened everything and everything expanded exponentially. Both population growth because of all the ability of, of dynamite to help with building and modernizing from irrigation to harbors to, to buildings. The world, originally set in stone, truly was changed by this great discovery, dynamite, which laid the foundation for future explosives as the ultimate predecessor.